Hello, I'm Lorna Horton. I'm one of the tour guides here at St Peter's Cathedral. I'm standing in the Lady Chapel admiring these three beautiful windows which we have. These windows were donated by Robert Barr Smith. He was a major benefactor at the cathedral. During Barr Smith's regular visits to England, he discovered the workshops of William Morris, resulting in him spending vast amounts of money furnishing two of his Adelaide homes with furniture, wallpaper, textiles, fabrics and embroideries. The question has been asked many times, are these William Morris windows? Extensive research by Pamela Oborn has established beyond doubt that these windows were designed by John William Brown in the studios of James Powell and Son of Whitefriars, London. They were installed in the Lady Chapel in 1904. History tells of three, of two, three major glass producing firms in London during this period, Whitefriars, Morris & Co, and Kemp Studios. Many works from each of these firms are still evident today. Whitefriars, a long established firm, was bought by James Powell, a wine merchant, in 1834 to provide work for his three sons. Edward Byrne Jones joined the company in 1857 as a stained glass window maker. William Morris and Edward Byrne Jones met while studying divinity at Oxford, forming a lifelong friendship, but their love of art changed their careers. Morris & Co was established in 1861. Edward Byrne Jones left Powell & Son to become the principal stained glass window designer with William Morris. The job of stained glass window maker at Powell's went to Henry Holiday, a close friend of Byrne Jones. Since these companies worked in similar fields, there was support and collaboration between the artists. The two artists who were closely associated with the Lady Chapel windows are Edward Byrne Jones and John William Brown. Edward Byrne Jones was a brilliant artist. His role as primary stained glass window designer with James Powell and son and later William Morris has greatly influenced the designs produced by both companies. Many windows based on his designs continued to be made long after his death. John William Brown was an artist and stained glass window designer. He joined Morris & Co to develop his skills working with Byrne Jones Brown left Morris & Co after the death of Byrne Jones, which was in 1898, to work for Powell and later become a freelance designer, but continued to undertake commissions for Powell. Towards the latter part of his life, his eyesight failed and he worked closely with Henry Holiday, who was still working at Powell's. The windows in Our Lady Chapel have many features which can be identified with Byrne Jones and William Morris's designs. The red wings of the angels were features in many of Byrne Jones' windows and are featured in our windows. The lower panels in sections of our windows are of flowers and trailing vines. These are featured when William Morris used in his windows, wallpapers, tapestries, tiles and fabrics. This is evident in the fabric used in the Dean's chair in the cathedral. These are modern fabrics in the William Morris style. Early designs from Morris and Carr were pre-Raphaelite. Simple designs, rich colours, flattened spaces, few shadows and botanical features, i.e. flowers and vines. The Lady Chapel windows have several of these elements, though the design is of more post-Raphaelite style. My conclusion, there are strong indications that, William, that the William Morris styles in our windows due to the influence of Byrne Jones and the design and work of John William Brown.